Macau, Vegas of Asia, and my home for the past year. As a result of COVID, I've had a lot of free time lately, and I haven't exactly spent it wisely. So, I decided to go for a little run. I decided to run the length of the country, to be exact. I didn't just get up and start running like some half-Japanese forest gump. I actually started training about a month beforehand to make sure I was at the right level to be able to take it on. This is the first time I've done anything like this, so I decided to make a little video just documenting my struggles throughout the day. And I also set up a Just Giving page to raise money for Alzheimer's Research UK. So if you have an extra tenner to spare and you enjoy the video, then I'll leave a link in the description below. Feel free to make a donation. So without further ado, here's how it all went down. Starting from the border gate at the very northern tip of Macau. Here we go. It's a beautiful day as you can see. About 15k ahead of me. I'm more worried about the first few k because I'll be running through the busiest part of Macau first, so it's going to be absolute chock-a-block and I probably need to wear my mask as well, so it's going to get pretty steamy in here. <laughs> so uh, hopefully I'll make it in one piece. Bye. I made it to the bottom side of the Macau Peninsula, so I'm about the third of the way there. And then just behind me is the Lisboa Hotel, the old Lisboa Casino Hotel, the casino in Macau. And I gotta take the mask off now, because I'm dead. So, there's a sign beside me, so if you know that's where they sign. Do not pass basically, use the tunnel. Now, my plan was to go across this massive bridge over to the Taipa side. I don't see any English there, so I don't think it applies to me. So I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. In hindsight, I think the sign meant don't cross the road as opposed to don't cross the bridge. But on I marched to Taipa, firmly believing that I was a badass. is a lot steeper than I thought it was. And just ahead of me you'll see Taipa. My next stop, I guess. So I'll uh, take a wee detour to run by the casinos. Take a wee quick video there. Definitely just stop and take videos. I'm not stopping because I'm dead or anything like that. See, so I'm fine.
about 10k in now. And I took like a detour to come to the strip to take a bit of video and added like a kilometer to my run. So if that's not dedication, then I don't know what is. So there it is. It was worth it. We're finishing. Uh, Sounds Kotai Central. Uh, City of Dreams. And our way over there is Galaxy. And this is like the Las Vegas of Asia. I've already done 11 kilometers. I just checked the maps and I still got six left. So I might be out a bit longer than first expected. But hopefully like I've got a bit in the tank so I'll just take it slow and try and make it to the end. Sun's coming down now. My plan was to get to the end before the sun sets and enjoy the sunset. So I'm literally chasing the sun right now. I think it's gonna beat me. The final part of my journey was through the more rural part of Macau called Kolowan. And I'm not gonna lie, I completely underestimated how difficult this part was gonna be. As my ability to control my legs dwindled, so did my enthusiasm for vlogging. So let's just enjoy these lovely aerials of Kolowan. I took the road around the mountain, but it was still a killer. I felt some cramp kicking in and had to drag myself to the finish line. The very last part of the run was along this very scenic hiking trail along the coast, with seemingly endless sets of steps, which are surprisingly difficult to overcome when your calves have stopped functioning. There it is, I made it. Not a meter short of 18k. Took a bit longer than it was, but here. And uh, by the way, I did it all for charity. So if you got 10 quite extra this far, uh, I'll link my just given page below. You can uh, donate to Alzheimer's Research UK. Uh, it's a charity I've been mean, lost. Actually, you will see me in the next one because I'm done with running. But keep an eye out for my travel videos. Peace out.